Just pulled up to Heat Press Nation. We're gonna make some samples. Let's go. So I just got to Heat Press Nation. This is Jared. What's up, Jared? Doing good, man. How you doing? Good to see you again. Uh, again, yeah, yeah. So today he's gonna show me some heat presses that they carry, and then hopefully I'll leave with one today. I don't know. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Hopefully that's the plan, right? Yeah. All right. So tell us what you got. All right. So I think the presses for what you're doing, the presses that are gonna work with us, are probably gonna be our signature series line. Now we have a couple here, and of course we have different sizes. So going up in size, we have the 1515, which you know, you, if you're doing, because I know you have the small ankle socks, the yeah. socks with not too big of an imprint area. I don't yeah, that'll fit for our athletic right, and okay. the ankle, but I'm looking for 16 by 20. There we go. So 16 by 20, and oh, and one of my favorite features of all time is the slide out drawer. So this is our 16 by 20 That's nice. with the slide, slide out drawer. drawer. Now, we have an auto open option available. This particular press is not auto open, however, but we do have it available. Okay. So and, you'll um, basically just press it, and then when the time is up, yeah, exactly. This is the one Jimmy was recommending because he was saying the auto open might have a stick. Yeah, so so with auto open, and you'll see it right here. So this is our 16 by 24. If you have some really long socks, you can yeah. <laughs> probably fit them on here. I'll actually so put two pairs of the athletic. One here, oh, nice. one here. Yeah, yeah so that, yeah, that's mm -hmm. the one. So yeah, so with the, how the auto open works, so there's a magnet right here. And uh, when you lower the handle down, the magnet will hold the handle in place. And so what happens when the counter hits zero is that it's gonna, it's just gonna pop open on its own. Now that, sometimes- That pop open looked pretty smooth. I wanna test the 16 by 20 and the 16 by 20 auto open. Okay. But do you have one of those auto opens? The auto opens, if, if you wanna test auto open, if you don't mind, they will test this one. That one? I don't have one Okay, but do you think the smoothness yet? will be the same? It'll be exactly the same. It will? Yeah. Like this one won't have less kick than that one or something like that. Right, right. Yeah. Cool, let's do so that. Then, all right, let's get it set up. So I need it to be at 400 degrees. Okay. And let's set it at about 30 seconds. 30 seconds, okay. <laughs> so for the signature series, really easy to set temperature and time. You hit the okay button. And that'll let you know Fahrenheit or Celsius. We do Fahrenheit here. Uh, and then your temperature, you just set it to 400, right? Yeah. One more time to set the time. Let's go 35. 35. Hit okay, and now it's set. So the green is set value. It's where it's gonna go. It's where it's at right now. Current. It's, it's, I'm surprised, because it's cold so in this is the room. current, this is where it's gonna go. Mm -hmm. Cool. And then yeah. the timer, so when you lower it, the top is gonna tell you how much time is, is counting down. The bottom says. It's know. already faster? Oh. oh, no, 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 I just did that to trigger okay. the timer. How does it like lock down? And just go yeah. Oh. And so we'll, we'll adjust it for, because that's kind of tight for. That's kind of high pressure. Yeah, for like t-shirts and stuff. Uh, we have a graph tech out here. This is a little bit of everything. Is graph tech? Is it like print and cut versus just cut? Or? These are okay. So we so all the cutters we saw are just cut. Just cut. Just okay. cut. Yeah, the print and cut. It's like the things like the Roland versus yeah, yeah, Cam yeah. and stuff like that. Like we don't carry print cut. Yeah. yeah. So these are all cutters. Yeah, these are all just, just final cutters. Or some people call them plotters. Plotters. Is your best seller sellers of heat presses the signature series? I would say so. Yeah. I mean, they're the most affordable line is going to be the M press. So, oh, okay, so you guys created an Empress brand. Yes, Empress. These it's, ones. It's this gray one over here. It's gray one. Oh, okay. So, so this is like the most twenty. Cost of the cheapest presses you guys carry. Heat oh heat. yeah, for sure. So this is gonna come in. Actually, this is a sixteen twenty. I want to say this is hovering in the three hundred range. Maybe it's three thirty. Okay. I'm not too keen on the prices because I'm not God, too no involved worries. in sales anymore. But we won't hold you to those prices. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, are these the same brand? So, yeah, this, this is Black Series. So black. these are gonna have, I don't know why I pulled this out. This is our Black Series. And so this is gonna have like a secondary handle. This is our most affordable auto open. So this one's auto open, 15, 15 by 15. 15. So it goes down, you see the magnets right there. Yeah. And then when it hits zero, uh, it just, okay. it'll pop open on its own. And this is, is this auto open too? No, this one is not. This is available in auto open. Oh, yeah. So let me get this straight. <laughs> From the price wise, the from the most basic to the next yeah, level. Yeah, so these, these are going up in price. Up in price, but these are all your brands, right? These are all our brands. So, so Empress, Black Series, uh, Signature Series. Signature. And, then, and then we have the Craft Pro, which we have our little one right here. 
This is our 13 inch by nine inch. And this is like the most affordable slide out drawer you're gonna get. It's really awesome. And this is also available in 1515. Okay. Now after the signature series, what's the next price up? Is it so, a different brand? Yeah, so so this is the best, absolute best price you're gonna get under a thousand dollars. Got it. Like to me, by far. Okay. Because the next affordable one's gonna be right here. It's gonna be the Stall Tautronics Max. This is a uh, 16 by 20, and I think this one's in like the 1100 range. Okay. And so this is a, this is going to be American made premium. You have the thicker heating element. And no so, slide out. No, so it's for what it is. It's still very basic in that. There's no slide out. You're still reaching in under there. Um, it's not auto open. This is like this is like the impress of the big boys in the sense that it's entry level, but premium commercial grade. Like this is one that you can keep running seven days a week, like 12 plus hours a day. This will just be your heavy duty commercial grade. And then in that kind of same vein, we have the Hicks brand. Hicks builds their stuff like tanks. Oh, really? So Super these are strong. gonna be, yeah. So this is, and they try to keep them affordable. So like, ah, for, <laughs> <laughs> so for example, like this Hicks over here, the Swingman, um, it, it's still running an analog uh, temperature control. Uh -huh. And the timer, um, you just basically use an egg timer, you use your watch, or you just count down. So it's very simple, but I mean, the quality, like this press will still be pressing in 30 years. Like, we have people regularly call it, like, yeah, my hicks after like 22 years, after, you know, 31, like whatever. So it's not a digital timer? It's like <laughs> no, it's, yeah, it's analog. What? Even so, today? Like, they'll still even make Even today, this? they still make that still production press. That's like an antique. So, yeah, but dude, it's one of those things, like, it's so simple that it, like, never fails. And it swings. Yeah. Like with the- with And the, how much is this guy? It's a great question. Like over a thousand. Sure. Yeah, it's over a thousand. Yeah. And then you got this. I, most, the, the rest, the American made heat press is basically, the only one that comes in under a thousand is the 11 by 15 version of the Stalls Max, okay. which is that black press. And this is auto open? This is, gonna, is, this so is gonna be, it's yeah, so this is like hydraulic power. So uh, you plug it into an air compressor oh. and you, just, you lower it and it'll apply the pressure automatically. Oh. So you're not really pressing down, you're just kind of guiding it and then the hydraulic pressure is going to and do all that. This is the Geonite, so this one is another tank like also. American made. Everything uh, besides your brand seems like it's American made. Yeah, and so because they're made in America, they can use like heavier steel, like they don't have to ship it across an ocean. Jimmy in the building, what's up buddy? <laughs> <laughs> That's Jimmy, the owner. Um, thanks for inviting us, bro. Yeah, no, no worries. Yeah. How you doing? Doing well. Don't worry. Good to see you. Don't worry, I'm always, everything's taken. Hey. Always. Yeah. <laughs> you have to pretend it's not there. Yeah. I'll always be filming. Now I'm just loading the socks. These are our jigs. I was explaining. So uh, I'm going to sample out one of these dress socks with a black design. Um, so with, it's got that black inner, which makes it. Um, like a really dark finish, which for sublimation, you know, like typically you can't sub on black, but we've developed the sock with the black inner and a white outer. And it gives this like dark gray effect right here. So it kind of gives you a vintage dark look. Yeah. Then I'm gonna make uh, a couple more of these as well. This is the black foot white top athletic. So the print on this comes out super vibrant because it's a, it's a, it's a pure white on the outside and inside. Uh, and then, I'll do this yellow one too, a yellow foot. Oh, very cool. And then uh, this design's got a yellow bottom with like a red-ish top. Here we go. Woo. Smoking hot. Ah. All right, my favorite part, the reveal. Yeah. Look at that. See, I told you it gives you that vintage dark looking black. Yeah. These are dope. Oh, yeah. The black dress socks. So remember I told you uh, this has a cotton interior. So the entire interior is cotton. Oh, that feels great, dude. It's super comfortable. See, that's another super thing comfy. about a lot of socks that, uh, submission so socks soft. that kind of suck is that like, they feel like you're just like, mm, I don't uh, want to. You could it. literally wear these all day yeah. to work and I'm, I'm sure you're not gonna, like you, you won't even feel like you're wearing them. Like you won't remember yeah. them because that's not comfortable. Dude. So, enjoy.
enjoy that, man. Thank you. Thank All you. Right. Thank you. So that wasn't awesome. bad. I like it, but honestly, like, I'm not used to just waiting for it to go hit 35. I'm used to automatic pop -up. Automatic pop-up. So okay. I'm excited for the next sample. Let's go check it out. Yeah. All right, so next step, I'm going to load the athletic socks inserts. Um, this is the athletic jig, which has this contour cut right here. So it's very easy to load and stretch out just the printable sublimation, sublimation area. Totally okay. You can slide. Oh, you can slide, slide it out. Slide out. That looks gorgeous. I could have done a better job centering. <laughs> it's okay. But yeah, that looks good. A little bit of fade right there. So that's what I'm talking about. Since okay. that happened. Uh, we could increase like five seconds and that'll probably improve You think that. maybe a little extra pressure too or the but pressure's not a deal? Let's keep it the same on this pair. On okay. the next pair I do, I'll increase uh, the time. But yeah, the colors came out real nice. I just dude, those look, those colors look great, dude. Yeah, these socks, most vibrant sublimated socks yeah. for sure. Even more, I think, than our dress socks and streetwear socks. Just the vibrancy these, on these, these are the athletic, athletics. Athletic. Yes. This is the yellow foot athletic. It now comes in 11 different colors. Dude, people are going crazy asking for new colors and like they love the colored foot. All right, so now the the roll technique's actually a little easier on these socks because of the, the the nature of the athletics and mm -hmm. since you only have to do like half of it. So I'll get the other transfer sheet and I'm going to double check <laughs> right here. The alignment. Kind of rush the process on that last one. All right, that looks good to me. Centered, covered, and there we go. Colors came out beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> um, you want to see the 16 by 24 signature series? So yeah. It's a little bit further. Here we go. So 16 by 24. Yeah. Oh, the auto open is 719. So this exact heat press is 719. Okay. It's a 16 by 24 with auto open. Give me, give me that one. All right, let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. All right. Do it. All right. So hey, they're hooking me up with the 16 by 24 to use in our YouTube videos. First sponsored so you, we, we really want you to have the best so when you're doing your videos we want you to get the best heat press on there and honestly i'm pretty confident in our products and i think your customers i think your fans your followers are gonna love their heat presses so you guys check us out heatpressnation.com if it's good enough for the silky sock master yeah no i'm just delighted and, and privileged and happy excited that you guys are putting faith in us and I'm going to let my audience know through the demos how I like it yep. and how it prints and try to be as transparent as possible. So let's get that logo right there. You see that heat press nation. Heat press nation hooking up silky socks with a press. All right, so next step is to get it packed up and load it in the car. All right, it's a crazy good meeting. Time to go through this machine. Let's get this thing packed. Got it. Let's go back to Silky with this piece and create some dope socks. Alright guys, so just a quick outro. Man, so dope. Uh, Heat Press Nation is an industry leader in apparel sublimation. So within a year of doing like YouTube tutorials the way I'm doing them now, you know, they, we got noticed by them and Silky Socks, we're doing big things too, but you know, it's that yin and yang. They checked out our content, they liked it. So I appreciate you guys for subscribing. That's been awesome. You guys are commenting, you guys are engaging with us. And that brought us to uh, this opportunity here. So let's, uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. And Silky Socks and Heat Press Nation working together. It's very lit and I'm excited. Next sublimation demo at the office is going to be with this brand new 16 by 24 machine and we'll see how we like it all right see y'all soon peace <laughs>
So I'm gonna one get time, this one funny done. story. Go. I got a thousands of socks from my supply, factory supplier in China. Mm -hmm. This was my old old supplier that I used to use, right? Mm -hmm. And it was like one of the first or second orders. All the socks came out like two or three inches too big, like unbelievably oh. big, right? <laughs> like the foot was like that much like bigger. Giants. Giants. Yeah, like yeah seven yeah. footers. Okay. <laughs> and their reason was, uh, it's the, in the summertime it'll shrink. But right now, because of the cold weather, it's it's big, and Three I was just nine. like, "This is bull <laughs> dude." That's so to that's solve the pro to amend the problem, I took all the socks to a commercial dryer and I dried the shit out of them, and they kind of shrunk a little bit, but, but not it enough. was like a big waste. Then you had to spark to the end. You look like be eighteen. Yeah, yeah. Do you guys have a bunch of gigantic socks. Yeah, but <laughs> learn my lesson. <laughs> quality control everything. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's cold. That's so dumb. It's that's funny though. Like. Yeah. Tell me next week you're gonna make socks. Dude, I, I, it's in the schedule. So our, our lives are literally scheduled six months in advance. So so what I do is when I find a cool product, I'm like, okay, wait, hold on, let's go back to back. It fits in, okay, oh, sublimation day? Well, mugs just got bumped off. I'm, doing, I'm dropping socks today. So yeah, so in my next in my next sublimation episode, yeah, for sure. Yeah, these are gonna be dope. I, I love them. But yeah, my I got two production girls, mm -hmm. um, Monica and Perla, and they're cranking them out. The masks. They're the masks. They're the masks. They're the masks. Okay, right on, right Sometimes on. Sometimes it's like, damn, it's been a few weeks since I've made a pair or whatever. <laughs> and I'm like struggling, but I don't know. YouTube viewers, you all be the judge. Am I pretty good at yeah. making socks? <laughs> got my little brother filming this one today. For sure. Ali Kasamali. Back in the game. Yes, sir. Creating content, doing media. So, Ali, show yourself. We out here back in this place. <laughs> True little brother fashion right there. <laughs> the little the brothers always have the flair. They always have the we out here. Have you ever ran just to like a shop that made stuff? Or have you like... No, it? I haven't run... So all anything that I've done, I've done it like on the side. On the side. In addition to... Because I didn't even get into the, the heat pressing or anything. Okay. Until I started working here. Okay. And how's so, your, so you have like a little side business going? Yeah, yeah. How's so I do. Uh, it, it does as good as I let it, which is like short for saying like I, since I'm here during the day, I don't have the time to do like customer service and, and the hand holding that's usually required with like running that sort of business. I see. But so, if someone says, "Hey, I want a custom shirt," you'll be like, "Okay, twenty bucks." Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have their own graphic artist. They just need someone to print it. So it, it makes it easy for me. Okay. Hey, yeah. if you want to reach out to them for a like, like T-shirt. <laughs> Or, or maybe not, I'm waiting for it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> His Instagram, you can shout it out if you want. Yeah, on Instagram, I'm at the Barry. So just the bear and add a Y at the end. You can find me there if you want to. You're not gonna find much t-shirt stuff though. Don't forget to follow me. Oh, at yeah, of course. Danish Casamala. There we go. All right, cool. If you do need it before we leave. Nah, we ain't got time for that. <laughs>